morning guys, morning YouTube people. So just want to do a little update this morning. So I got a pretty big mess over here of all this gear oil and crap. So anyway, welcome back to the channel. Half fast, 719. Uh, basically yesterday, yesterday, uh, wife and kid helped me put away some tools. I hung my little heater, 220 cable running down. Um, yeah. Um, I don't really know where this video is going, but anyway, uh, I don't know if you guys saw I fixed this. I think you guys did see I fixed that. Um, planning on making my own block off plates, um, for DEF, or DEF, um, for the EGR delete, <clears throat> so I have some, uh, 3 8 inch thick steel, I'll probably cut into little pieces, um, make some templates out of the gaskets that are for that, um, I have the gaskets right here. So, uh, yeah, um, anyway, I'll just do a little update. The video, the, been trying to sell this motor, but all kinds of people want me to put it in a, like a Ford, an Excursion, an F350, an F450, an F550, um, and, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not putting it in anything. I, I kind of just want to sell it, and it's what I told one guy, and he told me, uh, he wanted me to put it in a Ford F, F450, and it already had a 6.7 Cummins in it, and I think it had a 6.7, maybe it didn't have a 6.7, I don't know, it didn't have a 6.7, but he wanted, he wanted me to sell him this motor for $3,000, because the kit to put it in his truck was $6,500, and I said, so... Anyway, and he's like, well, that way I'll spend $10,000. And I was like, uh, no, dude. We're going to lower my price because the other price... Anyway, people are just stupid. Um, anyway, um, yeah, so I might end up just keeping it uh, just because. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. So hung that up yesterday. Worst. The Audi got her got her all cleaned up. It was pretty uh, pretty filthy. Washed it last night, and then uh, yeah, straightened the steering. Steering's good now. On that uh, track, the track bar made the truck run like a brand new truck. Um, and I just love the way this thing looks. looks so awesome. Um. I'm thinking about deleting those right there. But I'm not doing that today. So, uh, yeah, we did that. The wife and kid helped me clean up and put away tools. And then, of course, I have to go in and make another mess with tools. So, uh, yeah, some bonehead asked me to on YouTube how these wrenches are. I already said how these wrenches are. These are the gear wrench. Uh, double boxed in, ratcheting wrench. They're non-reversible other than the fact that you turn it over. You go left, right, left, right. But uh, awesome wrenches. I use them for everything. Definitely recommend them. Um, yeah, I haven't had any issues. I haven't had any stripping. Uh, with anything and I was doing exhaust bolts uh, 15 millimeter with exhaust bolts there's no signs or visible signs of wear on them um, I was using the 15 millimeter for the exhaust and uh, yeah definitely definitely would recommend those wrenches because um, the title for the wrench for that tool review says because the guy said, that's not a tool review. And it says... Oh, I can't remember what it says. <laughs> and that's another thing he says. He can't, I can't remember. 
But anyway, it says definitely a must buy, A plus, 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 um, a must. So that's what the title says. I just wanted to bug him with the saying. I can't remember. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it uh, for this weekend. Um, I'm just uh, glad I got that rear diff for the front diff, all the bearings and everything. Got all that in. Um, got that U joint in. Changed the rear diff fluid. However, I do think there is a rear passenger rear bearing, wheel bearing that might be going bad. Um, so because when we're driving it, you can hear it towards the back that way. So I, <clears throat> another video I will do. I do want to try this out when we were driving home from picking up the truck. Somewhere on here, there's a rock chip somewhere. Um, I don't know where. I don't remember where. The wife said some moron was driving in the suicide lane. It's like a turning lane. I don't know if you guys have them where you guys are, but I'll draw it real quick. Basically, most people will probably understand or know what I'm talking about, but some people might not. So you got this lane going this way. So you'll have two lanes like this, and these are both going that way, this is going that way, and you got a center lane with all these little dividers. I don't even know if you can see it. So, so this is solid yellow, this is solid yellow, this is white line, and then you got another Two, two lanes over here. So anyway, this is a suicide lane. You can turn that way um, or you can turn this way. So some moron, my wife and me, were driving this way and uh, this moron was driving through this lane passing all kinds of traffic that was in these two lanes going this way. So he was in more of a hurry than the traffic so he blew by us this way and had a bunch of sand and rock and uh that's that's how we picked up a that's how we picked up a rock chip in the windshield and then I got a couple of rock chips in the windshield for the new truck um which I'm not really worried about but whatever so yeah but that's going to be it guys just a quick little update what we did yesterday um, what I did and uh, also had to clean out our fireplace so I brought our pellet stove the chimney was all gummed up so bought one of these this little ducting brush so for uh, like dryer ducting uh, whatever basically anything for like lint and stuff but it works for the pellet stoves because the pellet stove doesn't soot up as bad um, it just gives a powder so we ran that we had to clean that and then I took a leaf blower to the inside of the house and basically duct taped this because it's not round obviously so I duct taped it and blew it out and all kinds of junk just blew out so, anyway, uh, yeah, I really don't have anything else to add. Um, I did buy a little blow gun from the Home Depot. A little husky. So, whatever. But, alright guys, that's going to be it for this video. I'm going to go inside and relax. Um, I don't have to work tomorrow. I have to bring my kid down to L.A. I don't have to. He can drive by himself, but um, I don't want him driving his truck. So, wife and me are going to take him. He's starting a job with the county. So, I'm super excited. I don't know if he's excited. I think he's excited, but he doesn't want to show it. I think he's kind of nervous. Um, but, yeah, so he's starting his job tomorrow. Uh, he's got orientation, so we're going to drive him down to L.A. And then we're going to go to a couple 
thrift stores while he's doing that and then we'll have to bring him to his actual work location um, and then we'll drop him off there and then we'll go to another thrift store uh, and then uh, we'll pick him up and then the next day Tuesday he'll be starting his new job where he works and uh, yeah hopefully everything goes well so alright guys thanks for watching comment subscribe do what you guys do thank you for subscribing later